Hi, this is Roger Wagner, and in this video we're going to look at a demonstration of using the Maker Bit along with the Vernier pH probe uh, to look at real-time pH values and using the MakerBit Media Linker we can associate any particular um, pH value with digital media. Uh, what's on the screen right now are Google Slides, but we can also use um, Google Drive videos or pretty much anything available um, on the internet. Over here we've got uh, a little display set up with LEDs. The MakerBit can control those. Um, and uh, we're going to, as the pH changes, those lights will indicate the pH as well. Um, we can also uh, bring up a, a tutorial video and we can also put this into a full screen mode. So let's uh, get some instructions. Hello and welcome. Today we are going to uh, have some fun doing some titrations. Uh, currently, it looks like you've got your... Oh wait. Currently, you have an unknown acid in your beaker. Our goal today is to see if we can determine the equivalency point. You know, that point in which the acid has been neutralized by sodium hydroxide. And this neutralization is the point at which they have uh, normalized or reached a pH of 7. To do this process, we've got a simple titration. We'll be running through a pipette uh, sodium hydroxide, and we'll be adding that to an unknown acid. We'll be adding it a little bit at a time. So let's go ahead and get started. Please remember to go ahead and record your volume of your acid, your unknown acid in your beaker, and the volume of your unknown, of your known sodium hydroxide, which is in your burette. Okay, let's get going. So, what we have here are the beakers with different pH solutions. We don't have the whole titration set up. We're just going to demonstrate the concept here. But we'll take the pH probe and move it from a solution with a pH less than 4 and move it to 1 with 4. And the display changes in Google Slides to pH 4. Now you could imagine with the titration we'd be adding the sodium hydroxide and that pH would be moving up till it gets to 7. I have a buffer solution here, pH 7. We'll put the probe there. You can see it moving up as the probe responds to the difference in pH. Wow! You're at a pH of 7! That means you're on the way. Now, you've reached a neutralization, but we're, you have an unknown acid. So we are going to continue on until the point that we've gotten that complete neutralization point, which now you need to be looking at your indicator of phenolphthalein and be looking at the LEDs. Okay? Remember, at this point, your stop clock, you've moved from a dribble to just making it come down drop by drop as it's coming down until that exact point. All right, so imagine we're continuing the titration and we move now to something just above seven. Almost there. Keep going, but remember you're going just drop by drop, okay? Well, that shows the idea. And our last uh, sample is pH 10, and we'll just see what happens there. Currently it shows 8. We'll move it here, and the slides change for that. And so there you have it. This is uh, actually a world's first using the BBC micro bit, the maker bit, and uh, bringing up digital media in uh, response to real-time measurements in this case from a chemical reaction. To learn more, go to makerbit.com.